You must have heard about volcanic eruptions in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Hapa ambapo nipo ni village wenyeji wanasema village, village ya Kasenyi na walikuwa affected na volcanic eruption mnamo mwezi wa May mwaka wa 2021. Now this is what happened. This eruption was from Nyiragongo Mountain and um, over 243,000 people were affected. Now I've also been informed that over 3,500 houses were decimated. Also decimated were schools, seven schools and four health centers. And the city of Goma's main source of water, the main reservoir, was also affected. So humanitarian organizations came in to help the people who were affected. Families were separated. Parents were separated from their children. Some are already back building their houses. Wengine badu hawajakuwa na ule ujasiri wakweza kuja hapa kuendelea na maisha yao. Na nimeweza kupata moja ambaya anatuelezea ni nini kilifanyika wakati huo. Unaitwa nani? Jinangu Kambali Faustin. Aha. Nini ilifanyika wakati huo? Kinji vilikuwa. Mm. Kinji vilikuwa moto ilikuwa ikashuka. Mm. Sasa tunaona moto inatushuka sie tukasogea kadogo. Mm. Mm. Sasa tulisogea sasa inakuwa asubuhi tunakuja tunaona manyumba zote zishalungula. Mm. Tunapita pita maeneo zote. Mm. Wapi moto ishapita fasi yote. Mm -hmm. Tukabakia kwanza kwa jirani kwenye hakukufika moto tunabakia tu kule mpaka tunachunga kama siku gani tena tunafanikiwa tunajenga mhm mm sasa watu waliadhirika kivipi kupoteza manyumba mm -hmm. njozi ilikuwa za mingi mhm mm e manyumba tu siri tu sana manyumba mhm mm njozi ilipotea sana na watu ba moya pamoya walikufaka kuna wale walikufa e -e. Oh, oh. Wale wagonjwa wenyewe walikuwa ndani ya manyumba hawezi weza zideplace mbio mbio wale mm. walikufia manyumba. Mm -hmm. Na hii ilikuwa mara ya kwanza hii mlipuko kufanyika? Hapa. Hapa hapa mm. ilikuwa mara ya kwanza zingine zilikuwa zinapita mbele mm. zile ni za zamani. Za zamani. Si hatuwezi weza zieleza sana. Mm -hmm. Na mlikuwa mmepata onyo kwamba itatokea ama mkujua kukua na onyo. Kwa taifa moya mm -hmm. maki haikukua hata kabisa. Mhm. Mm Moto yani kikuje inakuja na mna gari? Ah inakuja kama maji. Eh. Inakuja kama maji na kuja inageuza. Na ni moto. Eh ni moto. Mm. Moto mimi na kuya iko na zama ti. Mm. Kwenye kulikuwa udongo kuna geuka hivi na eh. geuka na inakuwa maji. Inachoma. Ah so hiyo moto ndio ilikuwa inachoma eh. udongo. Ndio ile ilikuwa ah. udongo. Mm. Na iko na faida yake. Faida yake. Eh mnaweza kutumia kujenga. Saya kukule tunatumia ka hii. Hii kukule ni dogo. Kukule, kukule mabeto. Za... Kukulema betoni kukulema. Saa zile mapilie za, za nyumba matigio. Oh, matigio za nyumba. Eh. Ina, inatumiwa kujenga. Eh. Oh. Na hizi nasaidia tu kuplanire tu maparcel. Unaeza auza parcel fasi kwenye kuko eh. pande ya kawambi. Eh. Ilifu na auza wanja hiva na mwanga unaplanire. Oh. Eh. Mm -hmm. Le ni za kuplanire. Na zito. Mm. Mm. Za kuplanire zile. Mm. Mm za kuplanire. Eh kuplanire tu parcele. Mm. Kisha wana njoo na jenga sasa oh, ni, kisha jenga. Kuweka chini. Eh kuplanire. Kuplanire kwa msingi. Sasa hapa wezi lima. Kulima hakuna eh. kulima tena. Eh. Pale ukelima ilifaa ulete tena. Mm. Tena ile budongo ya mupya mm. unaileta na gari kisha wana imwanga njoo utalima tena. Eh. Eh hiyo eh, ni hasara. Na sasa wewe umeanza kujenga tena ama bado? Bado mimi si ajenga. Mhm. Uh -huh. Kwa yes. nini? Makuta siapata kazi tena. Uh -huh. Na uko na familia mabadu? Niko na familia. Uh -huh. Me haiko hapa. Uh -huh. Wanaishi wapi? Sina familia hapa, wanaishi butembo. Wanaishi butembo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sasa hawa ni wenyeji ambao wameanza kujenga tena. Eh. Uh -huh. Na wagopi? Na wagopi tena? Hakuna kuogopa uh -huh. tena. Uh -huh. Kuogopa frema ile hatu wagopi tena. Uh -huh. Mtu kepata tuka muaeka kujengo na jenga na unahama. Uh -huh. Ile kabisa hakuna tena shida. Uh -huh. The Nyiragongo mountain we are talking about is not far from here. It's uh, right ahead of me. And uh, statistics further indicate that the volcano at Nyiragongo is Africa's most active volcano and one of the most dangerous in the world. Kwaivo, I've uh, given you a glimpse of what happened when Nyeji wanaendelea kujenga na wanasema maisha yanaendelea. Many thanks for watching and uh, let me take this opportunity to thank Jumbojet that has facilitated our travel to Goma. Bye.